Use De Morgan's laws to write a statement equivalent to this statement. The statement that we want to write an equivalence for is, it is not true that I went to the movie or I did not go bowling. Remember, De Morgan's laws tell us how to take the negation of an and or an or. This is an or, so we're going to end up using this version of De Morgan's law. Then, because I know now which one I'm going to be using, I can go back up to the original statement and translate it so that it looks like the left-hand side of that second De Morgan's Law. So the part that says it is not true that I interpret as a negation. So that's the negation symbol. And then I'm negating everything that comes after that. So I need some parentheses. And that's why they're there. Now once I've got that, it's just a matter of going inside and looking at the two statements. The first statement I'll call P just for convenience is, I went to the movie. Then there's an OR. And the last statement is, I, is, I did not go bowling. So I can let Q be the statement, I did not go bowling. So if you look at it, it is not true that becomes the negation. Everything following that negation is negated. Then the statement, I went to the movie, I called P. The statement, I did not go bowling, I called Q. And then there's an OR between them. Now, once I've converted it, that's, I've, I've converted it symbolically into the left-hand side of De Morgan's Law, so what I want to do is use De Morgan's Law to write the right-hand side. The right-hand side says you change an OR to an AND, and the negation gets distributed. So the negation goes with the P and with the Q, and the OR becomes an AND. We've done multiple problems with these, so you should have that idea now. So what I want to do is take the statement that was written like this, that's this original statement, and I want to write it like this instead, because it told me to use De Morgan's Laws to write the statement that's equivalent to that original statement. So De Morgan's Law says what was written this way can equivalently be written this way. So really all that's left to do now is to translate the right-hand side back into English, remembering what P and Q were. Remember, P was, I went to the movie. So not P would be, I did not go to the movie. And the OR becomes an AND. Remember, the OR becomes an AND. And finally, I've got the not Q. Q was, I did not go bowling, so not Q would be, I went bowling. So I've used De Morgan's Law to write the original statement in an equivalent form using an AND.